there a way that you can get someone to instantly respect you in any situation, whether it's a relationship, a friendship, at work, a group of people that you just met, someone that you've known for a very long time, when you feel disrespected, how is it that you can turn this around and go into a place and get them to respect you that very moment? Is there something you can do? The answer is yes. Whether it's someone that's known you for a long time or someone that you've just met, there's a way that always works that you can gain their respect and I'm going to share with you exactly how you can do this. My name is Aliki. I'm here to help you upgrade your energy and respect and the way people see you has to do with energy. Whether someone's aware of it or not, they are intuitive. Absolutely every single person picks up on the energy and this is not just little signals that they see or something that they notice. It's what they pick up and this energy is picked up from within them and instantly it forms an opinion. You don't have very long to gain someone's respect. And when we say that respect is earned or, um, oh, that's trust, trust is earned. Well, respect yourself first and then the others will respect you. This is kind of true, but I will take it to actually put it into something that you can put into action, something that you can do to actually achieve it. It all has to do with not just what you're thinking, not just what you're feeling, but how you see yourself. And that very moment, if you're able to truly stand in your energy, in your power, and have this, let's say, bubble of energy around you, a sphere of energy, and no, you don't have to imagine a sphere. What I'm saying is that you're not putting your energy into what you think think the other people are seeing that very moment into you trying to put yourself in their shoes, in their eyes and see how is it that they're seeing me. Let me show them this and this. Let me do this and this in order to gain their um, respect. That's not going to work because the instant that you put your focus on the other person and how they're seeing you, then you've instantly shifted your energy to them and you're showing them and they'll instantly pick up on this that, hey, I need something from you. Whether it's respect, whether it's something that you want them to see in you, they will feel this. And this um, shift of power, this shift of your strength is picked up. And when they see this and feel this, they feel that they have a part of your power and they'll feel that need. They'll feel that you're looking to gain something from them. And this puts them into this state where they need to see you and understand you. And this is not a way to gain respect or trust. You've lost their trust as well because they feel that there's something that they need to understand in you. So what do you do? Stay in your energy. Don't try to imagine how they're seeing you. Don't try to show something that you're not. Don't try to show your knowledge, show your wisdom, show how wonderful or great you are. Know that you're wonderful. Know that you're great. And be confident in this. And be happy being you. If you're able to truly be in that sphere of your energy and be confident with you, confident with who you are, what you um, are putting out into the world, what it is that you have to say or just be yourself, this does earn respect. No matter what it is that perhaps you're thinking that very moment or feeling that very moment, if you're in your power and you're in your strength and you're happy being in your power and in your strength, this will gain their respect because they will see you being you. 
Respect doesn't have much to do with how knowledgeable you are or how wise you are or your achievements in life. Can these make someone respect you? Sometimes yes, but what will always make someone respect you is when you're emitting an air of confidence of this is who I am and I'm proud being me. I feel truly amazing being me. And you don't do this in a disrespectful way because if you're doing this like I'm great and you're nothing, that's not going to gain someone's respect. If you're able to be in your energy but at the same time acknowledge others, see them for who they are, see their value, tell them something that you see in them of value and show that they are acknowledged, show that they are respected by you. Your respecting them will encourage them and inspire them to also respect you. You being grateful for who you are, for what you are, for who you are, and showing that you are comfortable with this. You're uh, truly aware of your value, aware of your worth. Then they will say, hey, for them to be so confident of their value and of their worth, that means they have something of value. They have something of worth. And they'll instantly click into feeling this. People pick up on your energy. People pick up on your, what it is you're thinking, what it is you're feeling. Yes, they may not see it clearly in their minds unless they're highly intuitive, but they will sense it and it will instantly affect them. Because we're all interconnected energetically in our heart and in our core, we pick this up on the quantum level. We pick this up on this unseen field and it's an unspoken language that travels much faster than anything you will do or say. So the confidence that you feel, the energy that you're standing in will be sent as a message instantly. You could say, but I'm not confident with who I am or I'm not comfortable being me. I just don't feel right around people. Shift this slowly, slowly, step by step into seeing your value, into seeing your worth and believing in you. It's not that you'll wake up one morning and say, I'm confident, I believe in myself, here we go. And it's not that you need to see yourself as perfect or truly amazing and you're uh, something extraordinary. No, it's about accepting who you are and loving you, choosing the best in you and putting this forward. And when you act or behave in a way that you say, oh, I wish I'd done this better or that's not the best in me, that's not who I want to be and this isn't what I want to be putting out in the world, shift it, change it. Every moment you get this opportunity to shift your thoughts, to shift how it is you're feeling about yourself, how you feel about you in the world, and believing in you. You can do this step by step. If you want for us to do this together, I've created a course called The Awesome and You, click the link below and I'll take you through this process step by step. You can do it. Respect yourself, believe in yourself, and you will get the respect and earn the respect that you truly deserve.